Hello, good evening. Welcome back. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. And happy to see you again. We good evening, ready. teacher. Good evening, how are you? Hello. We are ready to start now, okay? Yeah, Elena, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Ana Beatriz, Claudia, Zaira, Diego, Wendy, Maria Concepcion, Jose Galileo, Carlos Alberto, Ana Lilian, Brian Javier, no sé quién me faltó mencionar. A mí. A Yesenia Lisset. Sí. No, yo cuando mencioné su nombre. Eso fue lo que pasó. But I mentioned your name. Okay, how do you feel today? How is it going? Tell me. Share with me. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Thank you. It is a pleasure to see you again. Welcome back to all of you. Good evening. Good evening, Wendy. How are you today, Wendy? I'm fine. Okay. Uh, a little busy. A little busy, okay. Yeah. What about you, Jenny? What will you tell us, Jenny? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm okay, teacher. Okay, excellent. How are you? Nice, just working. A lot of paper around me, but I'm here trying to do my best in order to finish my day after 11 p.m. You know? Yes, after 11 p.m. Yes, as soon as I finish with you, I need to convert the video and to upload to the platform um, into the YouTube channel. And I need to be sure that everything is fine in order that you can watch it the next day. And I need to check up another uh, material about something that, it, that I, I am starting now. I need to resolve some exercises and resolve some homeworks. And well, some time for me, I, I need to stay up until midnight, you know? But that usually happens. But here we are trying to do our best with you, sharing ideas, helping you to increase your vocabulary. Uh, and then you can increase also your abilities, not only just to speak, but also to listen. That you have listening comprehension, that you can understand exactly when somebody speaks. And that is the main point. Okie dokie. Claudia, are you, why are you so shy today? <laughs> no, I'm not shy. Para nada, para nada, Claudia. No, I'm just listening. Ah, ok. <laughs> Pregunto, ¿entendió el 100% de lo que estaba diciendo, cierto? Yes. Ah, ok, pero es porque está con audífonos. <laughs> I'm just kidding, ok. <laughs> Okay, Laura. Hello, Laura. Hello, teacher. How are you, Laura? Uh, very well. Okay, I got a friend in the United States that we call Laura. The way how to pronounce Laura is Laura. Laura, okay. Yes, teacher. Laura. Okay. Yeah. He said, can you tell us something? Hello? You are so serious today, too. No, teacher. Ah, it's there, okay. Se le había quedado congelada la imagen, por eso era. Ah, no. 
y la imagen que tenía ahí estaba muy seria, sí. Ah. Okay. okay, Santos Misael Cañas Martínez, how do you feel today, sir? Tell us. Hello, good evening. Good it's evening, sir. I'm very good and ready to continue. Okay, excellent. We are re almost ready. Around five or ten minutes. Yes, thank you. I didn't gush the end the, the ending of the the conversation. No, no. Uh, I say that I just arrived. Ah, okay, okay. I got, I got you. I got you. I got you. Bye. Maybe you got you got uh, cough on the traffic. Yeah, I guess that, that it's because of the soccer match today. Ah, okay, soccer match. Say, I know that is the the reason why maybe some of my students they are not going to be in my classes because they, they need to watch the soccer match. Well. We need to learn something new here in the language. And then we can see it, we can watch it later on. Diferido lo vamos a ver. Okay, let me check up the attendance. Thank you to all of you that uh, have your cameras on. Gracias a todos los que tienen su cámara encendida y a quienes no la han encendido, pedirles que pronto lo hagan, que es parte de nuestro proceso al momento de auditar los vídeos, es lo que Insafor corrobora que sea usted. Ok, let me see. Hold in a second, please. I got it here. Okay, Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Okay. Bautista. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. How are you? Present. Okay, Escobar. Escobar, Escobar. Claudia Raquel. Present. Okay. Fran Francis Elizabeth. Francis. It's not here. Eh, Jose Galileo. Present, sir. Excellent, sir. By the way, today is your opportunity to have the 10 minutes at the end of the class. If you have uh, some question, you can ask me about the topic that you didn't attend. We can reinforce. But I would like to be sure if you are going to stay at the end of the class. Uh, I can, any problem. Okay. Thank you, sir. Jose Jonathan. Present. Okay. Jose Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Carlos Rivas. 
Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Lorena Beatriz. Lorena Beatriz. Only show up one, once. Solo una vez apareció Lorena. No sé qué le pasó. María Concepción. Present. Okay, um, María Elena. Present teacher. Okie dokie. Eh, Mayra Veralice. Mayra Veralice. Ya lleva tres ausencias. Miguel Ángel. Lleva cuatro. Zaira. Present teacher. Ok. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. And Brian Javier. Present. Okay, Brian is there too. Teacher present, Mayra. Let me see, Mayra. Mayra Veraliz. Sí. Ah, le llamé, pero no había entrado, quizás. No, acabo de venir a la casa. Ah, ok, ok. Excelente. Es muy importante la asistencia, you know, I'm going to tell you this in Spanish, it's really important, your assistant. Because in that way you can be promoted to the next module. All depend on the time that you stay in class. They already playing you that, okay? Okay, thank you. Let me see somebody else is missing. Alguien más entró de último y ya había llamado por su nombre. No. Okay, let us start now talking. Do you remember that we have an exercise in in the book that we just uh, start with uh, one options? Do you remember it that I told you that we we will continue resolving? I'm talking about exercise number six, uh, building vocabulary. I remember that I only mentioned the magnetic method and I told you that we are going to complete it today. I don't know if you already did, but we are going to check it in order to be sure. Just tell me if you finish in your home, in your free time or not. But be honest, tell me, no teacher. I didn't have time to do it. Oh yes, I solved it. I already yeah, have the answer. Try. Okay, write your hand if you finish. Let me see how many how many hands do I have? Okay, levanten la mano los que terminaron ese ejercicio y solo lo tienen de corroborar. Only one. Ah, two. Only two, three. Teacher, don't, don't listen to your question, please repeat. I'm asking you if you did the homework that I assigned you to resolve exercise numbers, uh, number six on page number 19. In the plot, 
book from? No, no, no. I'm talking in in the in the book in the book. Remember that no, I only no no get no. No, solo tengo tres manos arriba. El resto, el resto. Sorry, no teacher. No entendí que había quedado de tarea. Ah, okay. No se preocupe. Ahorita lo resolvemos. Okay. Okay, congratulations to the three ones that resolved it. Just wait for the rest. We are going to compare the answer. And then we are going to continue working in a different topic, okay? Try to work on it now. Uh, go to page number 19, exercise number six, building vocabulary. Determine the chart below described type of tests and research methods connected to product testing. Match the term to their definition and shape the answer with a pattern. And we have sites and handling tests, use tests, branded tests, blind tests, monadic method, sequential monadic method, and pair comparison tests. Because after this, we are going to reinforce the topic that we, we started a little bit yesterday. I'm going to give you, let me see if we have seven, uh, what about eight minutes? Is that enough for you in order to solve it? I don't think so. Do you need more time? Okay, okay, don't, don't worry. If you need more time, uh, as soon as we finish eight minutes, I'm going to ask you if you miss one, two, or, four, or three, and don't worry about it. Okay? Claudia and Maria, do you remember? Do you do you remember uh, the time that you spent resolving this activity, Maria Elena and Claudia? And I don't remember the the other one. Uh, Beatrice, correct? Ah, yeah, yeah, Beatrice. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's you. Okay, tell me. Okay, I think like uh, ten minutes. Okay, ten minutes. 10 to 12 mm -hmm. minutes, okay? Take your time, don't worry about it. And later on, we are going to compare. Now that sure. you see. Hello, sir? What's your page? 19. Okay, thanks. It's 19. It is there. Okay, take your time in order to resolve it. Don't worry about it.
Claudia, if you already solve it, uh, you can send me an uh, inbox a screenshot mm -hmm. in, order, in order to tell you if you have it right, okay? Okay.
Okay, any questions so far from here? I'm here, I'm here. Ana Beatriz. Yes, teacher. If you solve it, uh, you can send me an a screenshot inbox in order to tell you if you have um, it, uh, everything right. If okay. not, you can have time in order to rearrange the answer. El WhatsApp se lo voy a enviar a Chair Direct, entonces no lo puedo enviar aquí al chat. Yes, it, it is in the group. It, uh, inbox to my, my own. No lo mande al grupo, me lo va a mandar a mí solo para verlo, porque si no, todos lo van a ver. No hay que ser egoísta, mister. No hay que ser egoísta. <laughs> uh, later on, I'm going to give you the answer. Of course, I'm going to share with you the, the right answers. But first of all, I need to know the way that you think. I'm totally agree with you. We need to share, to learn each other, okay? Ya le envié a I got you. No seamos egoístas. <laughs> me llegó eso. <laughs> okay, let me see.
Okay, okay. Are you close to finish? Do you got my answer, Ana Beatriz? Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good job. What's difficult? What's difficult for you? Okay, let me see somebody else, somebody else, somebody Okay, time is over. I'm going to give you a hand. Don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you. Let me see where I have it. Okay. I got it here. I'm sorry to interrupt you. But I need to help you, okay? Okay, take a look at this. We are going to resolve it now. Okay, um, consumer use or cite and handle it one product, then another, and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. What do you have in the, what number do you have in the third one? Okay, tell me, wants to tell me. It's the number seven, teacher. Favorite yeah. comparison test. Peer comparison test. Bingo, sir. Number seven, okay. Let me move a little bit. Let me move it a little bit. Okay, seven. Uh, what about the second one? Consumer use the production in real circumstances. They use a product, cite it, handle it, and rate it later. Tell me. Tell me. That's monadic method. I told you. What number is it? Five. It was number five, right?
Okay. What about the third one? Consume say the products to be used either as a sample or for an extended period as they could usually use, use it in their own home. It is number two teacher use test. It is number two, right? Okay, excellent. Number two. What about the next one? Consumer are aware of the brand they are trying. This test number, that, excuse me. Number three. Number three. Okay, bingo. Number three. Okay, consumer use a product, size it, and handle it. They rate it. Uh, then they use site, handle another product, and rate it. The consumer does not rate both product against each other. It is number. Excuse me? One. One you teacher. Say, you say number one? Six. Okay. Yes. Somebody else? Somebody else? Number one. I think number one, teacher. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Number six, teacher. Nah, number six, okay. Okie dokie, number six. Sequential, sequential monadic method. Consumer use the product, side it, and handle it. They rate it, then they use it, side, handle it, another product, and are and rate it. The consumer does not rate both product against each other. Okay. The next one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Ah, okay. Let me see here. Number one is going to be there. And we are talking about side and handling tests. This test is a good option when there are significant tactile, tactile and visual element of the product for consumer to experience. And the last one is number four. Number four, OK. Number four, products are tested and branded, so the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristic and not on the brand's name. Okay, you have it there. Make a screenshot because we are going to use it later on. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher, um, that concept were... ¿Dónde están? Excuse me. ¿Dónde está eso? O sea, este es un ejercicio, pero ¿a dónde están esos conceptos anteriormente o tenemos que adivinar o cómo es la cosa? No entiendo. Okay. Let me tell you this. Uh, we have the definition. Tenemos las definiciones. Y tenemos Ah, esa es mi pregunta. Okay. ¿Dónde están esas definiciones? O oh, tenemos que deducir, inventar. No, 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 no. Okay, ok, 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 hold on. Las definiciones son las que están a la derecha. ¿Sí? O sea, sí, sí, pero ¿cómo? O sea, es que no me entiende. O vale, sea, ¿cómo no? Sí le ¿A dónde encuentro eso antes de este ejercicio para ah. poder entender el ejercicio? Okay, o okay. tengo que inventar, o tengo no. que... No, 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 deducir no. o qué rayos tengo que hacer eso es lo que no entiendo Va, ok, el día de ayer cuando yo les dije I told you do is this exercise as homework and, and I told you you can google it, you can investigate something related in order that you get some ideas about that Me recuerdo que ayer les dije, eh, hagan este ejercicio de tarea, auxílense de el buscador Google para tener algunas ideas sobre qué trata cada uno de estos métodos. ¿Sí? 
porque eh, es muy difícil eh, poder dar o acertar así, a, como usted dice, adivinando, ¿no? Exactly. Yes, por eso fue que yo opté por darles como un tiempo que lo investigaran un poco y eh, encontraran algunos conceptos relacionados o algunas ideas, perdón, basado en eso. No sé si se recuerda que sí les dije Google it. Yeah, me sir. Ok. No, I don't know. Le, le di I un don't poco. Don't. Ah, ok. Ok. Ok, make an screenshot now and now you have a clear idea about the, the methods. Okay, thank you. I'm going to stop sharing. And also, uh, do you remember that yesterday we were talking about something that uh, sometimes it is kind of complicated? Do you remember that? That you need to take a look of the subjects? Do you remember? Yes, I remember. Okay, okay. Yes. Today we are going to talk a little bit more about that because we need to increase our knowledge. Okay, let me share it something. We call it a uh, subject bear agreements using expression of quantity. We already talked about that and maybe some of you have a clearer idea that we are going to uh, make some exercises about this in order that you can practice and maybe clarify some those that you can have it. I'm going to share with you this one that we talk about let me get get it bigger yesterday i i show you i guess but i explained only as two example the first uh three charts i guess okay as you can see we have singular bear and we have plural bear here okay and i remember that i read the a and b some of the books is good, and I say some of the books are good. And I remember that I asked you if you know the meaning of uh, these two words, son of. Do you remember? Hello? Yes, sir. Se recuerdan que les pregunté que si sabían el significado en español. Yes. Y alguien me respondió. Una parte de. Ah, ok. Excelente. ¿Y cuál era el otro significado? Algunos. De... Ah, ok. Excelente. Me gusta eso porque eh, fue algo que ya lo mencioné. Teniendo en cuenta, taking into account dos concepts, I'm going to read the exercise number three. Uh, let us see, I'm sorry. A lot, of, a lot of the equipment is new. Take a look at this. A lot of the equipment is new. And right here, let me see. Okay, let us read uh, letter D. A lot of my friends are here. What can you tell me about these two sentences? Letter C is singular and letter D is plural. Okay. Um, and what is, what is the key word right here in order to know exactly that is uh, singular? Yeah, but equipment is, is in general, is it's an object. Okay, but it's singular, right? Yeah. 
Okay, in the letter D, we got the, the name friends, and we know that it's in plural for the reason we use R. Letter E said two thirds of the money is mine. Do you understand it? Two thirds, dos tercios. Because that money is mine. And right here, let it have two thirds of the pennies are mines. Can you see the difference between both sentences? Teacher, I think the, the, the word money is in general. Okay. So Yes. It's not speaking about one object individual. Okay, exactly. And the uh, and letter F. Letter F. Yeah, it's talking about money. You are talking but, about but it is something specific. Okay, and also uh, you have in plural the noun here, okay? Pennies are mine, okay? Okay, in letter G, one of my friends is here. Do you understand exactly why do we have is? Yes, I got. Because we are talking about one for the reason we have is there, okay? But what about the rest of the class? What do you think about it? Do you understand what I'm saying? Hello? It's a little confused, teacher. Okay, okay. If you don't understand something, just tell me now. Because later on, we need to practice some exercises. And uh, yeah. if, you have, if you have doubt, just tell me the letter and I'm going to explain you. The letter E, teacher. What is the yeah. difference with the letter F? Okay, okay. Right here, we are talking about, as your classmate said, we are talking about money in a general way. Okay? For that reason, we are using is. And letter F, we are talking about pennies. This one is in plural. For that reason, if you have plural here, we are going to have a plural here too. If we have singular here, we are going to have singular here too. Okay. Is that, is that, is that clear for you? Entonces, si estamos usando el sujeto, el sujeto va a definir ¿Cuál es en plural y cuál es en, en, en singular? Eso okay. es a lo que se refiere. Podría ser de esa manera. Ok, I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to go back to your, your material. Let me see where I have it here. I guess it is this. Ok. Let me see something here. Para que evitemos lo de Confucio, vamos a leer lo siguiente. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ok, veamos aquí primero. Miren lo que dice. Uh, I remember that I told you that you need to understand exactly the meaning of this expression that we have here. 
subjects that are preceded by a question of quantity are called complex subjects. They take either a singular or plural verb form depending on the number. Dependiendo del número, singular o plural. Okay. Okay. Then, if I go back, si yo voy de regreso, I'm going to show you. In this case, I'm talking about pennies. And right here, I'm talking about money. Right here, I'm talking about equipment. Right here, I'm talking about friends. Right here, I, I, I'm talking about book. And right here, I'm talking about books. And also, I got an explanation, extra explanation here that because we have some exception, one of each of and every one of stay singular verb because they are exception. One of each of every one of a plus plural noun would be singular verb also. That let us clarify with the next exercise that I'm going to show you. Because in that way, you are going to have a clear idea about that. Let me see if I have it here. Okay, let us try to resolve this exercise. Uh, let us see the following. Some of the fruit in this bowl is or are rotten. What can you tell me? About is, the number one. I think this. Okay, and, and, and give me an explanation why? Because the subject bowl is um, singular. Okay, fruit. Ah, okay, okay. Some of the fruit. Okay, some of the fruit in the bowl. Is or are rotten. You say it is, is, okay? Later on, we are going to see if we are doing well or not, okay? The second one, some of the apples in the bowls is or are? Are. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Let me ask you something. That means that you relate this with the, the with the verb, right? Estamos comprendiendo. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, try to sir. try to try to resolve. Yes, teacher. Try to resolve at least from three to ten. I'm going to give you some time. You can make a screenshot and later on we can discuss why uh, you choose is or are. Make a screenshot now if you want. Is done? Do you, do you mind if I stop uh, chatting? I got a screenshot. Okay, try to solve it, try to solve it. If you, if you can uh, resolve the, the whole sentence, okay, it's, it's nice, but if you can do it only just to uh, 10, it is okay too. Try to read it, try to read it. Yes, now, right now, right now, I'm waiting. One minute, one minute left. Todavía nos queda un minuto, tenemos las 8.59. Okay, now is the time. 
thank you, sir, to, to, to remember me, okay? I do really appreciate that. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Bautista. Bautista Escobar. Claudia. Present. Francis. Francis. Galileo. Present, sir. Jonathan. Present, Mr. Okay, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Um, Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Okay, Laura. Present teacher. Lorena. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present. Mayra Veralice. Present. Miguel Ángel. Zaira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Creo que alguien mandó Present que no les envía él. Ok, ya veremos. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. And Brian. Sí, alguien envió que tenía problemas con el, la conexión. Present teacher. Brian, Brian ok. I, I got you. Okay, try to resolve.
Okay, tell me. Let me see where do you send it. Charlie's having problem. Okay, I'm here. I'm going to show you um, in order that we can resolve.
Okay, we have it there. Who wants to read the, the third one? Hello? Yes, sir, thank you. If you want, we can start checking it. Hello. Can I read the number one? Okay, go ahead, sir. Thank you. Some of the fruit in this bowl is rotten. Okay, perfect. Let me switch the color. I'm the red one, I guess. It's gonna be better. Okay, somebody else, the second one, please. Some of the egg balls in the bowl. Some of the apples in the bowl are. Okay. Okay, number three. Me teacher. Do it, sir. All of the students in the class are from Arabic speaking countries. Okay. And I would like to that you explain me the reason why you choose R. Um, because student is in plural and the line is speak about the middle of the half of the students. Okay, thank you. Okay, number four, somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Half, half of this morning is yours. Half, 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 yeah, half, half of the money. Okay, half of the money is sure. Okay, number five. Me, teacher. A lot of the students in the class is from uh, so kids as. Read it again, please. Uh, is read read again the, the whole sentence, please. A lot of the students in the class is from South East Asia. Asia, Asia, Asia. Okay, could you explain me why you choose is? Yes, is for example, is a uh, singular, a lot of love. Teacher, I think it's okay. Okay, okay, take a look at this 
this were a lot of students in the class. We are talking about a student for the reason it is right what your classmate is saying because you have uh, a plural here, you need to choose a plural here too. Okay. Uh, teacher, sorry, in Spanish. Y el ejemplo que nos enseñó, teacher, del el cuadro aparecía en, en singular y estaba friends. Ok, le, le, le explico de nuevo y se lo puedo mostrar. Va, acá, ah, sí. acá tenemos que tomar en cuenta el... Ya, ya entendí, dice, sorry. <ríe> ok, <ríe> ya, ya. okay. Sorry. De, eso, de eso se trata, no, no se preocupe. Y, y eso, por eso es que estamos haciendo mucho ejercicio sobre este tema, porque es kind of tricky, ¿no? You know? Estamos hablando de muchos estudiantes. Por lo tanto, usamos R, ¿ok? R, yes. Ok, number six. Mi teacher. Ok, do it, Jose, Jonathan. A lot of clothing in the those story is on sale this week. Ah, ah ok. Explain me why you choose, uh, you choose uh, is. Because uh, clothing is uh, singular. It is a general word, okay? Yes. Okay. Si alguien tiene dudas en alguna de las que vamos haciendo, por favor, en el momento que estamos resolviendo, levante su mano o hable mejor, porque cuando estoy proyectando no puedo ver las manitas. And tell me. What do you think about it, please? Okay, number seven. Me teacher. Me teacher. ¿Quién dijo primero? Wendy. Ah, okay. Hmm. One of my best friends is coming to visit, visit me next month. Okay, explanation. Explicación. One of my best friends is singular, it's a friend. Ah, okay, it's, you have a number, right? One. Yes, one. Okay. For that reason, it is, is, okay? Is. I don't know why, let me see what happened here. I'm going to choose another. Let me look for another way to. Okay, I guess it's gonna be better this one. Okay, number eight. The lady Need that it. was in second, okay, tell me. Need it. Okay, yes, Annie. Is each boy in the class has his own notebook? Okay, a, read, read, read it again, please. Each, each, boy, each boy in the class has, okay. uh -huh, has his own notebook. Okay, explain me why he just has. Because he's their person. Because we are talking about everyone, okay? Yes. I don't know what's happened with my computer. <laughs> I just touch it and make a long line. I don't know why. Something is going on here. Okay, number nine. Number nine. Volunteers. Where are you? Teacher, Jonathan. Do you, do you, Jonathan? Each of the boys in the class have his own notebook. Each of the boys in the class has his own notebook. Have. 
Ah, have, have. this one. Yes, have. Mm, you say have, okay, tell me why. Because uh, voice is in, plur in plural. Okay. Let me see. But right here, this one is telling you something. Each of. Each, each of. This is the exception, teacher. Yeah, es una excepción. Muy bien, excelente. Okay. Excelente. Veo que sí estamos en clase. Me gusta. And also, uh, the answer is each of the boys in the class has. Yes. Has. Ok, compañero, creo que ahí eh, valga la redundancia. El, el, el compañero le aclaró y por eso yo le subrayé ahí, porque es una excepción que sí se las leí en, el, en, el, en, la, en la diapositiva. Ok. Ok. Number 10. Me, teacher. Brian. In this case, is is also exceptions each of the boys sorry sorry number every 10 one number 10 the number students, 10 yes every one of the student is required to take the final test okay we have exception every one of the students okay is required to take the final test. En español, ¿cómo sería? Alguien me la dice, por favor, para que le quede claro a los que tal vez eh, tienen dudas. Cada uno de los estudiantes es requerido para tomar el examen final. Ah, ok, entonces. Cada uno de. Cada uno de estos nos está indicando que lo, es que, un, lo sin, que tengo aquí. Singular. Ok, singular. I like that. Ok. Uh, maybe we are going to stop here and, and try to explain something else and later on in the review we, we can solve the rest of, of, of sentences that we have. Vamos a dejar una parte para el review para poder seguir clarificando eh, son those that maybe you can have it. Any questions so far from here? Mister, puede resolver solo la siguiente. La once. Okay, I'm going to show you. Hold on. Hold on a, a little bit. Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? None of the animals at the zoo okay. are free to want or of them is in the enclosure or is artisan. Okay, take a look at this. None of. What is the meaning of the amulet of the zoo? Uh huh. Are required. None of the animals at the zoo is free to roll run. All of them are. In enclosure. Ok, ¿se comprende? Yes, teacher. ¿Por qué estoy yes. usando? ¿Por qué estoy usando is acá? ¿Y por qué estoy Porque usando? Porque cuando utiliza one off, está seleccionando uno de los animales que está es en el zoológico. Excelente. Entonces está hablando en singular. Okay. Y cuando dice all of them, se refiere a todos los demás. 
Excelente, me gusta que comprendan esa parte. Dice, pero el... cuando, cuando dice ninguno de, está incluyéndolos a todos, porque ninguno, si no sé, solo tengo esa duda. Ok. Porque si dice, um, si dice one of, si es uno, pero sí. dice ninguno. No okay. sé si es verdad. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I'm going to show you something. Let me let me show you something here. Let me see what I have it. I got it here. And I need to show you this. Okay. Okay, take a look at the letter G, I guess. No one, none of the boys is here. Take a look at this. And this said no. No of the boys are here. It is informal. And let us see the explanation that we have. Subject with none of are considered singular in very formal English. But plural verbs are often used in informal speech writing. ¿Nos queda clara la explicación? Yes. Ok, eso uh, si pueden hacerle una captura, les recomiendo que la hagan y si no les voy a compartir esa información, que es muy importante tenerla. And you can see the next example that we have here, it is in a different way, but the number of students in the class is 15, is, because we are talking about the number, right? A number of students were late for class. And we have a compare in, the number is the subject. In, oh, sorry. A number of in a, is an expression of quantity, meaning a lot of, it is followed by a plural noun and a plural verb. You can see it here. Okay, se comprende? Yes. Se, comp se comprende? Yes. Okay, yes. Rem remember this is a intermediate level. Akaya is un nivel intermedio and you are learning something new. I don't know, maybe it is new for you, okay? Maybe not for all. Tal vez no para todos sea nuevo. Y si tienen preguntas, go ahead and ask me questions. But if you don't have any questions so far, we can continue talking about. Or do you consider that uh, we can finish uh, resolving the next uh, sentence that, that we have. It's up to you. Or we can do it uh, tomorrow. We are going to make the review about the topic that we have already started during the last uh, five days. Hola, lo siento muy callados. ¿Qué estará pasando? Ojalá que no haya llegado Confucio por ahí y me los haya confundido. Hello. Okay, let us continue then if you want. 
it is up to you. Well, maybe we can resolve it um, in the review, but I, I would like to show you something else because I, I need that you have a, a good information. Voy a compartirles algo más porque quiero que tengan una base bien sólida de este tema. Y van a tener argumentos para decir no, es así de este y de este modo. Ok, let us see this. Subject verb agreement, some irregularities. Ok. Who wants to read uh, the example that I have here from A to D? Who wants to do it? A volunteer who wants to help me, please. Hello. Please repeat, teacher. Okay. Uh, I need that somebody uh, help me reading letter A, B, C, and D. Okay, me. Please. Okay, do it, sir. Singular verb. Letter A. The United States is big. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take a look at the verb is. Why do we have is here? If somebody could say, but a state is in plural. Because it's one country. Okay, the United States is one country. Excellent. Okay. Read letter B, please. Okay. The Philippines consists of more than 700 islands. Islands. 7,000. 7,000, I'm sorry. 7,000 7, 7, islands. Islands. Okay. Remember that the S is... Uh, it doesn't sound, okay? Okay, I got it, thank you. Okay. Why do we have uh, this verb with inflection? Why? Because it's a country, but the Philippines have a lot of islands. It's, it's a country, but it's plural. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe not plural. I, I, well, later on, I'm going to give you an explanation. You already have it there. Okay. Who wants to read the letter C and D? Somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, Maria. Sí. The United Nations has its headquarters in New York City. Headquarters in New York City, okay. We have has, and we have uh, something that looks like a plural, but a real letter D, please. There e appears is a uh, department store. Okay. And now the explanation, as I told you, you have it at your right. Sometimes, okay, somebody wants to read it for me because I, I, I would like to invite you to read it in order that you can improve reading skills. A volunteer who wants to read it? I can continue. Okay, go ahead. Sometimes a uh, proper noun that ends in S is singular. And the example is the noun is changed up to a pronoun. The singular pronoun it is used, no, not the pronoun noun they, because noun is singular in. Uh, a, the United States. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. I'm going to read again some time a proper nouns that end in S is singular. In the example, if the noun is changed to a pronoun, en el ejemplo, si el nombre es cambiado por el pronombre, the singular pronoun it is used. El pronombre it sería usado en vez de el nombre. Now the plural pronoun they. No el pronombre plural they because the noun is singular. Porque el nombre es singular. In letter A, the United States is equal to say it, not they. I don't know if you understand what we are talking about. It. Let me know, please. Como, como sería decir como que el nombre es propio, un nombre propio de, de, de la ciudad, de, de, del país. Los nombres propios, ok. Aquí dice algunas veces un nombre propio que termina en S es singular. ¿Sí? En el ejemplo dice, o en los ejemplos, y el, si el nombre es cambiado a un pronombre, el pronombre singular it sería usado. En vez de decir the United States, podríamos decir it is big. Instead of saying the Philippines, we can say it consists of more than 7,000 islands. Or if we want to talk about the United Nations, we can say it has its headquarters in New York City. Or if we want to talk about Sierra, we can say it is a department store. For that reason, we use this kind of verb. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si alguien tenga dudas en lo que acabamos de explicar. Hello? Me, teacher. Wendy, dígame, In Wendy. In the United, United Nations, sí. eh, for what has United Nations? Sí. Nations, organization or... Eso es las Naciones Unidas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ahora al final las It Naciones Unidas... Yeah, it has, has it headquarter in New York City. ¿Por qué? Porque las Naciones Unidas, es cierto, está, están compuestas por un número X de países, pero es una organización. Oh, ok. For organization, has. Ok, yes. Thanks. ¿Alguien más que tenga dudas? Let us see letter E. The news is interesting. But somebody could tell me, teacher, but the word news is in plural. And why you are using is? Take a look here. News is singular. Okay. Is that clear? Hello? Hello. Yes. Grammatical rule. Yeah. Some irregularities. We call it irregularities. Okay. Letter F. Mathematics is easy for her. Physics is easy for her too. Ah, and take a look. Both were finished in S. Ambas palabras terminan en S. Pero estamos usando is. Estamos usando is. ¿Por qué? Tell me why. Fine. Because it's, Fine. Because it's proper of noun. Uh, they... Uh, these words end in S, but it's only one, it's singular. 
Ok, at the right we have it. Lo tenemos a la derecha, dice fields of study that end in ICS require singular verb. Algunos campos de estudio que terminan en ICS requieren un verbo en singular. Ok, mantengan eso en su mente, miren. Aunque aquí diga matemáticas, física, ¿sí? Siempre vamos a usar el singular. Ver, ok. Ok, what about letter G? Diabetes is an illness. What happened here? Diabetes is an illness. What is the explanation that we have? Certain illnesses that end in S are singular. No dice que todas. Ciertas enfermedades que terminan en S son singulares. And we have diabetes, measles, mumps, rabies, rickets, shingles. Okay. Later on, you can look in. In a, in a dictionary for more info about the illnesses. What about this? But do you have questions so far from here? No? No, teacher. No, teacher. What no, about teacher. the rest? What about the rest of the class? ¿Qué dicen los demás? ¿Alguna pregunta? No, mister. No, teacher. Ah, ok. No, me, he decidido darles esta parte porque esto no difícilmente les va a aparecer en otra y el tema se presta. Por eso es que quiero compartirles esta información. Espero no estar confundiendo, sino aclarando dudas. ¿Y nos va a compartir ese material? Claro que sí se lo voy a regalar. Eso es... Thank you. Lo he sacado de unos libros que uso eh, en la universidad ya para eh, gramáticas avanzadas. Pero eh, viendo el tema que tiene relación con lo que estamos eh, estudiando en la guía nuestra, eh, pues ahí hay un espacio para poderles dar esto. Ok, letter H. A hour of sleep. Is enough. Why do we use is? ¿Por qué usamos is? Ten dollar is too much to pay. Five thousand mile is too far to travel. And take a look at the right expression of time, money, and distance. Usually require a singular verb. Es un computador del Ministerio en manos de un instructor de universidad. Ok, y dice. La está usando para tareas de afuera. Expresiones de tiempo. Que cobra, por cierto, porque no son de gratis. Dinero y Microphone. distancia. Microphone, please. Usually require a singular verb. Tenemos claro esa parte. Expresiones de tiempo, dinero, distancia, usualmente requieren de un verbo en singular. And maybe the last one that I'm going to... I'm having problem with my internet. Can you hear me? No, yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, take a look at exercise. Uh, okay. The letter K, K or two and two is four. Two and two is four, okay? Two and two equals four. Two plus two is, or we can say equal four. Five times five is 25. And right here we have arithmetic expression require singular verbs. 
Expresiones aritméticas requieren verbos en singular. Ok, veamos si, ha, si hemos aprendido. Nos faltan los plurales, pero eso lo vamos a dejar para el review. Ok, take a look at this. Only just 10. I need that you resolve. Uh, maybe we don't have enough time. Maybe only just five. From one to five. Try to resolve it. I'm going to give you like, uh, well, five minutes. Or if you want, we can resolve it uh, in group, no problem. But I'm going to give you a, at least five minutes in order that you can resolve it. If you want, you can make an, a screenshot now, please. I'm going to, oh, well, only 10, you can have it. Let me do something and I'm going to try to send you there. Hold on a second. I'm going to send you this file. Teacher, lo puedes subir un poquito, por favor. A little bit. Okay, 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 hold on. I'm going to stop sharing. Hold on a second, please. I need to send you something. Le voy a enviar esto cinco al WhatsApp. Or I can send it right here in the... No, it's going to be better in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second, please. Because I'm having a kind of problem with my internet service. I don't know why. Ok, recuérdense que lo que estamos haciendo es reforzando el tema que tenemos en nuestro material. ¿Sí? No es que estemos cambiando de material, sino que es un refuerzo. Okay, hold on there, please. Let me see, I can do it. Okay, here we go. Okay, you have it there. Only five, only five, no more than five. Ahí los tienen, pero si no les voy a seguir compartiendo acá. Gotta hear. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Not uh, yes. Ah, okay. Okay, because of the time I need that you resolve only yes uh five, no more than five, please. Later on, I, I can share with you. Remember, this is the irregularities in subject verb agreement, okay? Estamos dentro del tema, no nos hemos desviado. Finish part. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody else finish? Okay, make a screenshot. Oh, do you have it there? You have it there also. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay.
Okay, let us check it. Let us check it, please. Who wants to read on uh, number one? Hello. Okay. Uh, the United States has a population of around two, I don't know, <laughs> two, no sé cómo se pronuncia, 150 million. 250? 250 million. 50 million. Okay. okay. Okay, the, the answer is has, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Number two. The news about Mr. Holland's tears super. What is the right option? Is or are? Is. Is, okay. Number three. Massachusetts. Okay, read it, read it. Me, Massachusetts is a state in the north eastern part of the United States. Okay, the explanation, why you choose is? Is. Okay, what is the explanation? Massachusetts is a, a place. Okay. It's, a, it's a proper noun, okay? Yes. Okay. Number four, please. Number four. Who wants to read it? Number four. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I will read the number five. <laughs> okay, number five. Number four. Number four. Okay, it says um, physics seeks to understand the mysteries of physical world. Okay. Okay. The answer, the explanation for that sentence is, tell me. Uh, in that case, when it says physics, Physics refers to one branch of science. So okay, okay. That's why. So on a study fields. Or field studies. Okay. Number five. Number five. Study statistics is a branch of mathematics. Okay. Okay, dokie. We already talked about that, right? Okay, remember that also we need to resolve um we missed to see the Plutos, but we are going to do it in the review that we are going to make. Nos faltó la parte de los plurales, pero eso lo veremos en, en el review que haremos. Ok, todavía eh, podemos hacer una más. What about number 11, the, the, the police is or are prepared in case there is a, is a real. What do you have for that? Tell me. Uh, teacher, the police is prepared in case there is or a riot? Riot, riot. Riot. Yes. Do you know what is the meaning of that word? 
the last one this one no teacher what is the meaning something that happened today in um i saw a lot of uh people from the police in a strike I don't know that if happened today or not, but I saw a news. Vi una noticia que había una eh, manifestación de miembros de la policía. Entonces ahí había algo que se llama riots. What is that? Un disturbio. Un disturbio. Es un, es un alboroto, un disturbio. Ya. Yeah. Remember that uh, in Hispanic, we have a lot of word for that. Okay, but, but um, in this case, we are going to use is or are, tell me. Is teacher. Is. Okay, why? The, the police. Because is. the police is an organization. The police. The police is 110. Okay. Maybe. Okay. And the last one? Tell me. Rabbit is an infection. infection. Ah, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on there, hold on there. Take a look, Let, take a look at that. Okay, what about this uh, in, in the 11? Boys. We have something here. We have something here that is telling us something because we had the police. Oh, -ho, we need to be careful about this. Porque, porque una cosa fuese que tuviésemos solo police, pero, but we have an determiner here. We have a, uh, we call it, a um, long time ago, we used to call it article. Antes le llamábamos el artículo. Y ahora es un, un determinant, un determinante. Entonces, en ese caso, al traducirlo, ¿cómo diría? La policía. Mm. Pero mire, aquí, pero mire aquí lo que dice. Prepare in case there is a riots. El policía, teacher. No, el policía prepara. Ah, ah oh. ok. Be careful, be okay. careful. Be careful about that, ok. Be careful about in that. In case is R. Yes. Oh. Because if I if I switch the police, uh, if I want to use the, the pronoun, I'm going to oh, they. I understand organization, I think. Organization. Yes. But in this case, if, oh. if, if I switch the police, they are prepared in case People. they are prepared in case there is a riot. Ellos están preparados en caso de que haya un disturbio. Ok. Espero lo hayan anotado. Ah, yo sé que están algunos emocionados y algunos otros están diciendo qué es lo que dijo hoy, no entendí. Espero que no. Espero que todos hayan comprendido lo que hemos estado hablando. Sé que ya estamos over time. Let me check out the attendance. I don't know if you have any questions apart from here. Hello? Hello? No, teacher. Okay, en español. Eh, he tratado de ser lo más claro que he podido con ustedes para que este tema se comprenda. Pero eh, no sé, es posible que todavía exista tal vez alguna duda. Yo diría que se comprende en cierta parte los, los términos y el uso, pero pues 
Es cuestión de práctica en realidad. Ah, así es. Así es. Teniendo muy claro lo, los, los cuadritos donde les he explicado, eh, así como cuando vieron las excepciones y todo eso, mientras no tengamos claro cuáles son las excepciones, no podemos eh, identificar. Entonces, por eso es importante. Ok. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilia. Present teacher. Carlos. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. No apareció Carlos Antonio hoy. Eh, Claudia. Present. Pero, yo creo que Carlos es el que tenía problemas con el internet. Teacher. Sí, también es posible. Francis. Francis. Galileo is there, okay. Present. Jonathan. Rodrigo. Present, present. Rodrigo. Jonathan, José Jonathan Vigil. Okay, okay. Jonathan. Rodrigo is not here. Uh, Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Laura. Present teacher. Lorena. No apareció Lorena. María Concepción. Present. Eh, María Elena. I'm here, teacher. Ok. Mayra. Present, teacher. Ok. Eh, Miguel Ángel. Zaira. Santos. Present, teacher. Wendy. Present, teacher. Jenny. Zaira ahí estaba, pero no se vio. Present teacher. Zaira, sí, a Zaira me respondió una vez o dos, creo. Jenny. Present teacher. Ok. Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Y Brian. Present teacher. Ok, solo le pido entonces a José Galileo if you are going yes, to yes. stay at the end in order that we can talk. Yes, I'm glad to stay here. Ok, ok. Ok, I would like to thank you very much. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. Um, bye bye. I don't know. Uh, remember, if you have any question about some topic, just let me know. Send me a message, and then I can give you a hand. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. Good night. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye okay. bye. Take care. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Night. Okay. See you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you welcome, Maria. You remind me. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> My time in the school. The, the time is in English. <laughs> Thank you. And hello, Galileo. Bye-bye. Hello, Maria. Bye-bye. See you again. Bye. Okay. Bye. You know each other. Maybe you were classmates in another module, right? Yeah, okay. I know Maria Elena. <laughs> Oh, okay. We are partner in uh, some course before. Okay, excellent. Bye. Excellent, excellent. Okay, sir. I love you, teacher. Okay. Um, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Uh, maybe about the topic that you missed. I don't know if you already have started something and uh, have resolved the exercises in the platform. Uh, um, I think your class is really clear. I understand your okay. explanation. Okay, thank you. Uh, I don't have doubts in, in the last two classes. Okay. Okay. But uh, at the beginning, maybe you have some problem in order to connect, right? Yeah. Maybe because you were scheduled or I don't know. 
today or the last week? No, no, talking about the, the first section that we have. Uh, yesterday, I, I had a little problem with my connection, but the last week I was a little sick. Okay, okay. I, I had a cold. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, so I, I don't work in my homework. Okay. I didn't work in my homework. Ah, okay. But, but honestly, teacher, I, I don't want to follow in the English classes. Oh, really? Because, yeah, because uh, I need to rest a little more. Oh, okay, I got you. Uh, it, I mm. think, I think uh, the last week when I was a little sick, I thought uh, I need to rest. I, I don't want to learn English. Uh, today, um, I am I am motivated. What I can what can I say motivated? You lost the motivation. Yeah, but it's not for the class because I think you are a good teacher. I understand really okay. clearly. Okay, but it's something like my my. Uh, myself is a decision for myself because okay May maybe cause your health the way you, the how you feel after yeah oh, okay yeah yeah um, I I think uh, I need a little time to rest is is the only reason why okay I I, I took that decision okay but. Okay. I understand you and believe me that sometimes it's really difficult. Yeah. But, but also um, what I can tell you is that, as I told you, I understand the way that you feel, but at the same time as a teacher, what I can tell you is that you can make an effort and continue at least to finish the module. Because yeah. suddenly uh, during, the time uh, you can feel better. I know that it's really hard to stay sitting in front of your computer two hours, but yeah. I, re I recommend you that you try to do some exercises and your free time. That is going to help you a lot and try to feed yourself uh, with healthy food. That is going to help you too and um, use the opportunity that you have. I know that it is really hard, but yeah. um, I, I, I uh, invite you to reconsider your decision. Thank you, teacher, and, thank you. And we I, are actually, and, actually and, I like your class, teacher, okay. because, because you speak during all the class in English. Okay. That, that is very important because when I hear English, more English, more English, our ears is expanded the the knowledge. Okay. About the sound of the English. Okay. I don't know if if you understand me, teacher. Yes, I got you. I got you. What you what you are saying. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay, the, the, that, that is what I can tell you. Okay, I know that uh, after being six is really difficult, but what, I, what I'm telling you is that you are in the process. I invite you to at least finish this model. And then if you want, you can take a, a rest and you can continue the next module. That is my point of view. But yeah. all the all depend on you, right? But my advice is that that you can go ahead, you uh, 
you have good knowledge and you are going to increase your knowledge because this topic that we are studying now are going to help you a lot in order to have a clearer idea about the language. That is yeah, really it, okay. it, actually I I am really thanks with you for your invite. Okay. Uh, to follow this course. I, I don't give up giving up easily. I don't give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that is that is what I'm trying to tell you. That don't give up. Don't give up. I I like to go ahead, go ahead and take my class seriously. Okay, take the, take, the, take the challenge, take the challenge to fit this model, sir. It's yeah. gonna help you a lot. I know that it's gonna be yeah. hard sometime, but you need to relax, you need to make exercise, and that way you are going to feel better. In my case, let me tell you this, in my case, I stay uh, working from seven to 11 p.m. But yeah. you know, Yes, but do you know what I do? And uh, suddenly when I have a break in my job, I have a, a soccer field next to my, my principal job that I have. And I get a sport uh, clothing and, and, and I go to jogging at least uh, half an hour. And, and that, that creates more in the energy. Yes, yes, yeah. it helped me yeah. a lot. It helped me a lot. But if you don't have uh, enough space, but what you can do is jump the rope, jump rope, and that way you are going to feel better. Even yeah, the stress, I the think... stress is going to go out. But yeah. it's up to you, as I told you. I would like to see you next tomorrow and until the end of the module, because I'm pretty sure that this model is going to help you a lot. But as I told you, uh, it's up to you, sir. In my case, I invite you to continue and I'm here to help you. If you don't understand something, I can give you all the tips in order that you can improve in a different uh, skill that you want to improve, okay? Yes. Thank you very much yes. to stay with me this time. And I do really appreciate your honesty to tell me what you told me. And I'm going to take into account. Thank you very much. I don't know if you have something else to tell me. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you. I appreciate your, your advice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. God bless you and have a nice night. Okay. Good night, too. Bye-bye. See you soon, Bye -bye. sir. Okay.